Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. In today's devotion time, we continue with our daily bread for kids and our topic today is victory in the valley. Hmm, victory in the valley. Our verse for today is Psalm 23 verse 4 and it says even when I walk through the darkest valley I will not be afraid for you are close beside me (laughs) I love this verse I'm going to read it again even when I walk through the darkest valley I will not be afraid For you are close beside me. Psalm 23 verse 4. Israelite soldiers were gathered on a hill. Enemy Philistine soldiers were on another hill. The valley of Elah was between them. One of the Philistine soldiers was a giant named Goliath. Every day, Goliath dared the soldiers of Israel to send someone out to fight him. When the Israelites saw Goliath, they were afraid and ran to hide. But David, a shepherd boy, wanted to fight Goliath. God had helped David fight off both a lion and a bear while he was watching his sheep. David knew God would help him fight Goliath too. King Saul agreed to let David try. First, Saul dressed David in the king's coat of armor and helmet. Hmm. Then David strapped on the king's sword. David walked around in the armor, but it made him uncomfortable, so he took it all off. Instead, David grabbed his shepherd's staff and walked to a stream in the valley. He picked up five smooth stones and put them in his bag. Then David took his sling and went to fight the giant. Goliath laughed when he saw David coming. Ha 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 ha. But David wasn't laughing. You are coming to fight me with a sword, David shouted. But I'm coming in the name of the Lord. He is the God of Israel. He's the one you have dared to fight. As Goliath moved in to attack, David reached into his bag. He put a stone in his sling and whirled it around. Then he let the stone fly. It hit Goliath on the forehead and he crashed to the ground. David had won. David beat Goliath because he trusted in God to help him. When you have a giant-sized problem, remember David's story. God is with you too. Amen. God is with me. God is with you. God is with us. When we have a giant-sized problem, we need to remember David's story. That as Goliath stood in front of him, growling and howling, David trusted in God to take care of him. I don't know how many times we've talked about David and Goliath in devotion time with Miss T. But that's one of the most popular Bible stories of all time. Loved by kids of all ages, including me. David was a special boy. David trusted God as a shepherd, a shepherd who took care of his sheep. Now, David loved his sheep so much that when the lion and the bear came to attack his sheep, 
David would not run away. No, David attacked the lion and attacked the bear. David was never afraid because he knew that God was with him. And because God had given him the responsibility to take care of the sheep, God had also given him the strength to protect the sheep. Now, what responsibilities do you have? Is it your schoolwork, your homework? Is it your chores at home? These are the responsibilities that you have as children. Now, because you have these responsibilities, it means that you have been provided with the strength to do them. Now, many times we may not ask for the tools that we need to go about the tasks that we have. And if you do not ask, you do not receive. I am pretty sure that David asked God for help when the lion and the bear came. So when David saw Goliath, he knew that the God who had helped him with the lion and the bear would also help him with Goliath. And he stepped forward with that attitude. When you have a task before you, do you run away scared? Do you look at the task and think, hmm, I think this is too big for me. I am not going to attempt to do it. God wants us to realize that he has given us the strength, the wisdom. But all we have to do is ask him for help. Ask an adult or someone older who can help us. If we do not ask, we do not receive. So whatever the task is before you, I want you to do this. Close your eyes and ask God for help. And whenever you ask, God will be there for you. Just like the verse we read where it says, Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid because you are close beside me. Let us pray. Dear Father, we know that even when we walk through the darkest valley, we are not afraid, like David, because you are beside us. Give us the courage. Give us the boldness. Give us the strength to go forward in that truth that you are with us to accomplish all the tasks that are set before us. And we know that we will be successful with you on our side. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our fun fact. Shepherds often carried a bag made of animal skin. It was slung over their shoulders and large enough to carry a day's worth of supplies. Hmm. Why would they want a day's worth of supplies? Because shepherds would walk far, far away with their sheep to find food. So even though they were looking for food for their sheep, they needed to make sure they had food for themselves so they would not be tired and weary. That's a lovely fun fact. I want you to say after me, God will help me face my giants. Amen. And God will help you indeed. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. So excited that you were here today. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.